David and David here. Let's talk about what to do when cellular data is not working on your iPhone. Can be a bit of a tricky problem because you don't know if it's your phone or your wireless carrier. You go to Apple, they'll say, is your carrier's fault? Go to your carrier, they say it's Apple's fault. Right, and we're gonna give you the information you need in case you can fix it at home, which I think you probably can, to go to Apple or your carrier and say, I already did that. Let's dive into the steps. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the phone itself. So let's just make sure that cellular data is turned on on your phone. Yep, open the settings app, tap cellular, make sure that switch at the top of the screen is turned on. Alternatively, if you swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of the screen to open control center, this little green icon right there is the cellular data switch. If you've tapped that accidentally and it's gray, this could be an easy fix for you. There you go. And that's why you should subscribe right now yeah. to our YouTube channel, please. Let's get to the next step. While you're here in cellular settings, tap on cellular data options, then tap voice and data. You probably wanna have LTE selected here. If you have 3G selected, your speed just might not be that great. Right, and if you have LTE selected, uh, try 3G, and if 3G works and LTE doesn't, it's either gonna be a problem with the antenna on your phone, which it probably isn't, or an issue with your carrier that might resolve itself. Let's tap the back button, and I just wanna point out another setting, which is this data roaming setting. Data roaming is not really a thing anymore, especially in the US, if you have Verizon or AT&T, but if you have T-Mobile, it is still a thing. So check with your carrier, especially if you don't have one of the big three. And if you have Verizon, like David does, just turn on data roaming, it'll give you access to more towers and you won't pay anything more. T-Mobile has a cap on how much roaming you can actually do. Next, let's look for a carrier settings update. These are released pretty infrequently to improve your iPhone's connection to your carrier's network. A lot of the time you'll just see a pop-up that says carrier settings update available and you just tap update and you're done. Right, some people just tap not now. <laughs> There's never a reason not to hit update. It can only help your phone and it happens like that. And you can also manually check for one. Let's tap back on cellular, upper left-hand corner of the screen, then back to the main page of the settings app. Scroll down and tap general, then tap about at the top of the screen. Wait here, 10 to 15 seconds, maybe a pop-up will appear saying carrier settings update. Yeah, if it doesn't appear, there isn't an update. It's one of the only things like that in the iPhone. Yep. Next, we're gonna just check for an iOS software update. I was having problems with my cellular data yesterday because we run the developer beta right now of iOS 15, and the first one's always buggy. And then I updated All my fixed. iOS, and it's better. So let's do it. Let's All right, tap back to general, upper left-hand corner of the screen, one below, software update. And as you can see, I have the developer beta 2. Haven't installed it yet. Gonna do that after this video. It's a smart idea, and your cellular data problems, which don't exist on your phone, but do on yours will resolve themselves. If cellular data is still not working, try taking out the SIM card and putting it back into your phone. I'm gonna do this on my phone because if David does it, it's gonna break the screen recording and bleh. So, my phone, I'm gonna take it out of the case. The SIM card ejector tool. This came with an old phone, but you could just use a paper clip. And there's a small little hole on the side of your phone. If you just put the SIM tool in, Press down, you'll have to apply some pressure. Just pop it out, pop the tray. You can take it all the way out or not. Put it back in. Your iPhone will save Verizon or whatever your carrier is. Reconnect and maybe that'll solve the problem. Yep. Next, we're gonna go to Settings General Profile. So tap back to General, upper left-hand corner of the screen. Come down here, it might say Profiles. You have a newer version of iOS. It might say VPN and Device Management. And then we have Profiles down here. Yeah. Baseband and Telephony Logging Profile. Interesting. So Profiles can give, can change the way that your iPhone connects to the cellular data network and do a whole bunch of other things. They're like quick fixes. When I went to Ireland, I used an Irish cell phone carrier because it was a lot cheaper than sticking with Verizon. And when I came home, I installed a profile to make it work, but then I got off the plane and I could make phone calls, but I couldn't use data. And I was saying to myself, what the heck's going on here? And unlike the show Manifest on NBC, I hadn't traveled five years into the future. In fact, I just needed to delete the profile, which is what I did, and then it started working right away. Yep, so you can just tap on a profile and then tap remove profile to remove yep. the profile if you need to. Yeah, now that we've taken care of the easy diagnostic troubleshooting steps on your iPhone, it's time to call your carrier just to make sure everything's okay. Don't assume that everything is just working properly. Cell phone plans can get shut off for all sorts of reasons, including auto pay errors or angry spouses or <laughs> any number of things can go wrong. So just call your carrier, say, hey, I don't have a cellular data connection. What can you do for me? And they'll say, go to the Apple store. <laughs> and if they just say, go to the Apple store, move on to our next step. Yeah. Google the name of your carrier plus customer support. You'll get the phone number you need contact. That's how to do it. So if you call your carrier, they said, 
kick yeah. rocks. Uh, let's reset network settings. This erases all VPN, Bluetooth, cellular, and Wi-Fi settings. Restore some of the factory defaults can fix kind of a deeper software issue. Yeah, this is the magic bullet, and if this doesn't work... Uh-oh. Sat back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, back again. And below VPN device management, you'll see reset. Tap on that, and then tap reset network settings. Enter your passcode, tap reset network settings again. Your iPhone will shut down, do the reset and then turn yeah. itself back on. Yeah, the tip here is just make sure you know your home Wi-Fi password so that you can connect to Wi-Fi after your phone reboots before you do this. And then iCloud Keychain will download all your other passwords. So that's a good thing. If cellular data is still not working, probably a good idea to check your coverage. Make sure your carrier actually has service where you're trying to get it. You should also check out the awesome perks you can get when you click the join button down below. Right, pay it forward channel memberships. A great way to support your creators, but also connect with them in a different way. So private chats, free monthly members only giveaways. We're giving away air tags this month. There they are. There they are. But it's awesome. So if you join, we'd love you. In a lot of our videos, we talk about how to do a DFU restore, which stands for device firmware update. It means that you reset everything on your phone back to factory defaults and load it back. In my opinion, a DFU restore in this case is probably not gonna solve this problem if reset network settings didn't solve the problem. However, before you go to the Apple Store, make sure that you have an iCloud or iTunes backup because when you get there, they may insist on doing this DFU restore. And if you don't have a backup, they'll send you home to do it yourself. So, so you can either do it or not. I don't think it's gonna solve the problem. But basically, when you go to an Apple Store, you wanna have as much information and have done as much as you can before you get there so that you can answer every question the genius says with, yes, I've already done that, but it didn't work. That's the goal. Because yeah. <laughs> then you can finally get to the end where you get a new phone if necessary. Regardless, back up your iPhone now, then schedule an appointment at your local Apple store or give them a call or use the online chat. Right. Any of the above. Yeah, and that'll help you out. Yeah, that's what to do when cellular data is not working on your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click that join button down below, awesome perks, as we mentioned, and leave a comment down below if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.